In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to affect the shapes and form of our wave inside of our ocean. And to do this, we are going to go to our water body ocean, search for wave and go for a wave setting. Now, I don't want the wave to be generated using an asset. I'm going to use the local generator. So I'm from the wave source, change the water wave asset to Gerstner water waves. And now you have a local generator. First things I'm going to do, this is a large scale ocean. I'm going to increase the number of wave and double it for 32. And what I want to do is I want also like increase the maximum wavelength from 6,000 to 8,000 and change the distribution of my wavelength. The higher the number, the more small wave will going to be seen. So if I go for a five, now I'm seeing much more wave. If I'm going to go one, the maximum wavelength will going to be dominated. I'm going to go with a value of three. Now I'm seeing lots of peaks here. What we need to do is we need to change our amplitude. So I'm going to go for amplitude and minimize the min amplitude to two and decrease the value of maximum to five. Now I'm having much more calmer form wave. My wave move in a random form. I want it to be moved towards the shorelines. So I'm going to go for direction. And first things we need to do is we need to set up our direction angular spread to a zero. And what we are going to see is we are going to see like a um, streamline of wave moving um, far away from the shoreline. And what we need to do is we need to reverse it so it comes toward the shorelines. So I'm going to go for dominant wind angular and go for minus 180. And now the wave is coming towards us. The wave doesn't normally look like um, streamlined, so I'm going to go with a little bit of higher angular, so going for like 15 or like maybe 25. Okay, so now we have a calmer form of wave. What we can do is also like we can change the wave setting from our water material. So if we're going to go to our water material, so I'm going to go water material open it, there is what we call details normal settings and it will affect the far away and the near format and what I want to change is I want to change the details near normal strength. I want to have much more defined form so I'm going to go from 0 0.25 to maybe like 0 0.40 okay so it's much more defined. If I go for a 1 now we see it much more so a value of 0 0.4 is going to be good. Okay. Save it. And the next part, be able to have to control your wave. If you see here that our shoreline is a stable shoreline, it doesn't go back and forth with the wave system. And this is one of the caveats that the ocean has. And to be able to control it, what we can do is we can use another water body and overlap it and use it as a factor to manipulate our shoreline so we can have a little bit of more realism inside of our shoreline. And to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and drag and drop water body lake above my ocean. First things will happen, we will see some weirdness here. And if you pull up, now it's the lakes by itself is going to affect my landscape and to be able to de-affect that what you're going to do is go to your water body lake search for affect landscape and deactivate it okay yeah. so now our water body will not going to affect our landscaping but still has some weirdness because it's affecting and not transition with our ocean body Next step, what we are going to do is we have like what we call overlap settings. So overlap, search. we have like this overlap material priority. Decrease the value or change the value. Now the weirdness is going to go. What's next we need to do is we need to go to our 
water body ocean go for the material part okay i'm going to open the material of my ocean and inside the water material ocean search for what we call this and you will find this enable water vase map activate it and then deactivate it from here and save it now this weirdness has been changed and what we are seeing is we are seeing a curve the leg curve is changing the form of our shoreline so if i'm gonna go here increase it it decreases it and this is what i'm going to do is i'm going to use it in order to have much more nicer effect inside of our show inside of our shoreline so i'm gonna go here change the form of our lake okay so a little bit go with the form expand it a little bit here and we can add a little bit of point so we can define I'm going to focus on this area for now to be able to demonstrate what's happening here so this is now how the shoreline will be now we are seeing that the water is coming back and forth okay so I'm gonna go a little bit don't move it a little bit and let, then you're gonna get some artifacts but now if I'm going to deactivate and activate now I'm seeing much more foaming and the ocean has been affected with the lake so I'm gonna go here lift it a little bit up now we are seeing some more movement so the water go back and forth between the ocean and the shoreline so a little bit here activate it so go now we see how the effect has been edited here. So if you deactivate it, you see like the water is stable at this point. If you activate it now, you see that the water is moving back and forth and I'm having much more dominant wave in this area for me. What we can do is we can copy this water lake, okay, and add some variation inside of our ocean. So I'm gonna go here, add some much more larger areas that could affect my water body ocean you can add it and you scatter it so you, you break the formality of your own ocean movement go here move it a little bit now you see how it's influenced our waving system just make sure each time you have a water body lakes to change the overlap value so overlap value and change it here a little bit now I'm having much more realistic ocean movement.